Hey, what's going on out there, Tea Timers? This is Army of Tea coming back to you with a quick review of the BenQ monitor. This is the RL2755HM. Uh, a week and a half ago, I did an unboxing of this monitor. Now I'm going to give you a quick review of some gameplay, what I think of it, and, you know, do I really think you should purchase this monitor? Well, this monitor has a one millisecond response time, very low input lag. It has a black equalizer for it, so which is perfect because if, if you got people camping in the corner, you know, because there's a lot of guys that camp on Call of Duties. So if you're sitting in a dark corner, this monitor, it brightens those dark corners for you can see them guys in that corner. So it, I loved it. You know, it took me a week and a half to two weeks to get used to this monitor coming from a 55 inch Samsung 4K TV. Right away, I noticed the difference from my TV to this monitor. Uh, this monitor worked sweet. I really loved it because on my TV, I noticed there was a lot of ghosting, different things going on. So do I recommend this monitor? I do, especially, you know, for console gamers. This also, you can run PC gaming on it. It supports Windows 8 and everything, so it, which is really perfect because, you know, if I want to just hook my computer up to it, I, I can just do that. So if you're a pro gamer or even just a gamer guy that somebody that just loves the game, this monitor only costs about 275 to 310 bucks. You can get it on Amazon or you can just go to BenQ's website and purchase it. You know, I love this so much. I went ahead and purchased a second one for my other uh, consoles. You know, if I want to hook up an Xbox, I can hook it up on my PS3s or whatever I got. So that's what I'm going to do. So you should really go out and get it. You know, it has two HDMI hookups in the back. It has a DVI hookup. It has the audio hookup. This thing has its own speakers. The stand's really nice. I like the way it looks. It's sweet. The monitor looks beautiful. It's kind of heavy. You know, it tells me it's built pretty good. Um, but like I said, with the speakers, you really don't need them because if you're, you know, a gamer, I'm pretty sure you're going to have some headsets rolling with it. I suggest the Astro A40s. That's just me. I had the A50s also. And, you know, I, it, I really didn't like them because the battery would die out kind of quick on it. So I stood with the A40s and this monitor works really good. Uh, if you want to do some gameplay with me or you guys want to, you know, play against me, my online tag is the same as my YouTube tag, which is Army of T. Uh, my clan is the Sick Clan. So we look forward to playing against you guys. Come on down, you know, send me a message and we'll hook up and we'll do some gaming, man. You know, um, this monitor, I say go out and buy one, not one, get two. That's what you need to do is get two monitors. It's a big difference. You won't see that ghosting really. You'll feel ahead of people. So I loved it. I think you might like it. So I suggest you go out and get one. So if you like this video, just give it a quick thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to have a, a quick review on uh, this new uh, DX racing chair that I got. It's the king chair. Um, I'll give you a thing on that. And then I'm going to give you guys a quick review of my gaming room. Uh, my whole setup, what I'm running, you know, my router, my mode. I'm going to give you everything I got. So stay tuned. Give it a thumbs up. Tea Timers, I appreciate you guys liking this video, subscribing to my channel. You guys have a good night. I'm going to go and tear it up on some advanced warfare right now. So I'll catch you guys later. Night.